Hello everyone, this is part 9 of my Iron Man Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial. So we're going to start off where we left off, which is down there at the bottom left corner of the Pixel Art. And we're going to start off with the stone block. So with the stone block, we're going to move to these empty spaces here. We're going to start from these three blocks going diagonal up to the right empty spaces. And we're going to fill in these three blocks going diagonal with stone. So it looks like this. Now we're going to move down here to that stone block. And from that stone block, you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here that go diagonal down to the right. So let's fill in those. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to fill in these spaces here. So we're going to fill in this single space here. And we're going to fill in these two empty spaces here. And we're also going to fill in these spaces up here with gray wool. So let's do that. I'm not going to time lapse this so you can see where I'm filling it in. As you can see, we filled in that single space and just these two blocks going diagonal up to the right. And then we're going to fill in these other spaces here. These five spaces, so let's fill those in. Okay, so I'll fly back a bit and show you that it should look exactly like this. Now go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to catch up or to compare. So now we're going to switch to the nether brick. Now with the nether brick, we're... Mm, let's see. Now we've already got the nether brick there, so we don't need that. So let's actually switch to... No, we'll switch to the nether brick. Because we have to fill in this part too. So we already filled in this part, we're just going to fill in the above parts so let's put another brick right here on top of this black wall that's on top of this nether brick or it's not nether brick i'm sorry it's nether rack i've been calling it nether brick by accident at least for this part it's nether rack switching to the nether rack place one there and then place one diagonal so it looks like this Okay, now we're going to switch to the red wool, and with the red wool, we're going to fill in this space here, along with these two empty spaces going diagonal up to the right. So let's fill those in. So it looks like that. Now let's switch over to the pink wool, and with the pink wool, from this empty space here, we're going to move to the top left corner of it. And starting underneath this black wool, so starting from there, we're going to place a column of pink wools going straight down to that black wool. So let's just place a bunch of pink wools going down until it reaches that black wool. Then we'll place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. And it should look like this. Now let's go up. And starting underneath this black wool, you just place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. And then place four blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two, three, four. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch to the red wool. And with the red wool, we're going to fill in this entire space here with red wool. So let's go ahead and do that now. I don't think I need to time lapse this. It's not that much of a large area. So just go ahead and fill in this empty space here with red wool. Okay. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, from this area, we're just going to move over to the right a bit, and you're going to fill in this empty space here with red wool. So let's do that now. Let's fill this in. And it should look like this when you're done filling it in. Now we're going to move down directly below this area that we just filled in. And you're going to fill in this empty space here with red wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch to the gray wool, and keeping in mind, we're not going to cross any of these blocks going to the left. So, consider this the outline. So, in other words, consider there's an invisible wall here that you're not going to place any more blocks. So, if you're going to, like, say, fill in this part, you're not going to pass the black wools that are already assigned here. So, for instance, I'm going to tell you now to fill in this empty space here with 
gray wool. So you're going to fill it in, but not past the black wool. Same goes for the upper areas. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch to the red wool. And starting on top of the four black wool, starting on the left side. So starting from there, place two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. Now starting on top of the left block, so starting from there, you're going to place four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four. Now switch to the nether rack, and with the nether rack, place one nether rack on top of the red wall. Now from this area, we're going to move up to the right a bit, and starting underneath that black wall right there, you're going to place six blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to move down here, and starting on the right side of this red wall, so starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going up. So that's one, two, and three. And it should look like this so far. Now let's switch back to the red wool and move to the right a bit. And we're going to start on top of this black wool. So starting on top of it, place two red wools going up. So that's one, two. So it looks like this. So starting on top of that black wool. Now you're going to place four blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four. Now place five blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. As you can see, we're just following this path. And now one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now we're going to switch to the pink wool, and we're going to continue the path. Place two blocks going up on the left side. So with the pink wool, that's one and two. So it should look like this. Now let's switch to the nether rack, and from this space here, the spot that we just placed the pink wool, we're going to move directly down, and starting on top of that black wool that's uh, underneath the pink wool just going down, so starting on top of it, with the nether rack, you're going to place four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four. And it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the nether brick. And with the nether brick, we're going to fill in these three empty spaces here with nether brick. So fill in this space, this space, and this space with nether brick. And again, I don't think I have to time lapse this. It's not a large area. So let's fill this in in real time. And when you're done filling it in with nether brick, it should look like this. Now with the nether brick, we're going to move up here to this empty space. And we're going to start on top of these two black walls. So starting on top of it with the nether brick, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place one block on top of the block that we started on, on top of this nether brick. So place one block there. And now you're going to fill in this empty space here with nether brick. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to the red wool. And with the red wool, we're going to move up here. And place two blocks going across on top of these two black walls. So place two blocks there. And then we're going to move over here to the left and place another two blocks on top of these two black walls. So place two red walls going across. And then place two blocks going up to the left side, going diagonal. Not just up, but diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. So it looks like this. Now switch to the nether rack, and with the nether rack, we're going to fill in these four empty spaces here with nether rack. So do that now. And it should look like this. Let's switch back to the red wool, and with the red wool, we're going to move underneath this black wool that's above the two red wools that we placed going across here. So starting from there, place six blocks going diagonal up to the left so that's one two three 
four, five, six. Now you're going to switch to the nether brick, and with the nether brick you're going to fill in this empty space here with nether brick, so do that now. And it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the pink wool and go up to the next empty space. And you're just going to hug the outline of the black wool underneath it with pink wool. So what does that mean? That means you're going to place the same amount of blocks underneath the black wool with pink wool. So two black wools means two pink, one block, one pink, two blocks, two pink, one block, one pink. As you can see, all you did was just hug the outline of the black wool with pink wool. So that's what that means, just hugging the outline with a different color. Now we're going to switch to the red wool, and with the red wool we're going to fill in these two empty spaces here, fill in this space and that one small space there with red wool, so do that now. And it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the pink wool, and let's move to the next empty space here. Now starting underneath this black wool, that has a column of just going straight up, so starting underneath that black wool there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. So it looks like this. Now you're going to fill in these two empty spaces up here with pink wool. So do that now. And once you've done that, you're going to switch to the red wool. And with the red wool, you're going to fill in this empty space here with red wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. So now we're done filling in Iron Man's bottom armor part. So now it's time to work on his helmet. So we're going to switch over to the pink again. Switching over to the pink, and we're going to fly up here to this empty space here. So flying to this area, we're going to start at the bottom part of this empty space. Starting down here, we're going to start from this one black wool that's making contact with this six blocks going across. So starting on top of it, place one pink wool. So that's one. And let's just switch this around. And now from this one pink wool, you're going to place two sets of twos going up on the left side. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. Now place three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two. Now place three blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three. Now place four blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, and four. And it should look exactly like this so far so go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to catch up or to compare so now we're, we're going to do is let's see we're going to fill in these empty spaces here that are over to the left side we're going to fill in these empty spaces that are in between the black wool and the pink wool so do that now fill them in with pink wool so let's do this again i'll do this in real time there's really no need to time lapse this part Okay, so once you've filled in those empty spaces with pink wool, it should look like this. Now we're going to move up following this empty path here. So we're going to move straight up above this pink wool. So going up here, we're going to find these three black wools here that are making contact with this one block diagonal. So going to these three black wools in this area, starting underneath it, you're going to place two blocks going down. So that's one and two. Now starting from the top block of the pink wall, you're going to place three blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, 
3. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to tell you to do something that I told you to do down there, that I instructed you. Do you remember? Let's see, I'll fly back. Don't You don't have to come back, just look at the video. What I told you to do here, where I said, just hug the outline of the black wall with the same color that we're using, that we were using as pink wall. So we're going to do the exact same thing here, just to save us some time and some trouble of me actually explaining. So all you're going to do is hug the outline on the left side of this black wall outline going up with pink wool. And if you don't know what that means, just watch and see what I do. So all we're doing right now is hugging the outline of the black wool with the pink wool with the same amount of blocks that we have already placed. So it looks like that. And there should be one empty space and you could go ahead and fill this part in with pink wool. So it looks like this. As you can see, it's nothing too hard to understand or comprehend. All we did was just hug the outline of the black wall, just following the path. And then we added an extra pink wall up there so it could make contact with this black wall. So once you've done that, we're going to start underneath this pink wall. So starting from there, you're just going to place a column of pink wool going straight down until it reaches that black wall there. So let's just add just a bunch of pink walls going straight down until it reaches that block. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch to the red wall, and with the red wall, you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with red wool. So do that now. Now let's switch back over to the pink wall and place one pink wall underneath this black wall. It's also in between these two black walls, so place one there. And then two, let's see, two blocks just going down on the left. So that would be one and two. Now let's follow this path by going straight down below these two black walls and starting underneath the left block of these two black walls, so starting from there. You're just going to add eight blocks going down. You don't have to count if you don't want to because it's just a column of pink walls going straight down until it reaches this black wall. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see. And it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to catch up or to compare. So now we're going to continue moving down and we're going to switch to the nether brick. Now with the nether brick, we're going to move down from this area just a bit until we come across these two black walls. And underneath it, we're going to add a row of two nether bricks going across. So that's one, two. And then add another nether brick underneath this nether brick. So we'll place one there. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch to the pink wall and fill in this empty space here with pink wall. So do that. And now on the right side of this black wool outline, we're just going to hug the right side of the black wool outline with pink wool going all the way down to that one block. So just hug the outline with pink wool. So again, it's nothing too hard to understand or comprehend. As you can see, all we did was just hug the outline just going straight down. So it looks like this. Now you're going to switch to the nether brick. Or not the nether brick just yet, nether rack. I keep confusing those two. They have the same first name. So we're going to switch to the nether rack, and we're going to follow this path down here from the pink wall. And we're going to add one nether rack right there. So it looks like this. And now what you're going to do is the same thing we did here. It was We're going to hug the outline on the right side of this black wall outline going all the way up. And you're not going to place one there. Do not place one nether brick right there. We're not we're going to leave that space empty. Just hug it all the way up to the top block of the four black walls. So all we're going to do is hug the outline on the right side of this black wall with another brick. Again, it's nothing too hard to understand. All we did was just hug the outline with the nether brick. So it looks like this. Again, as a reminder, do not place another brick there. So now from this area, we're going to move a little bit to the right and starting underneath these four black walls. So starting from there, place two nether rack. I keep saying nether brick. I think, I'm pretty sure I just called it nether brick a couple of seconds ago. It's nether rack, nether rack. Ugh. There, I don't, it's stupid. It's stupid that they have the first same name. All right, so starting underneath it, place two nether racks going down. So that's one and two. So it looks like this. 
Now we're going to switch to the nether brick. Damn you, nether brick. We're going to switch to the nether brick, and now we're going to fill in this empty space here with nether brick, along with these two empty spaces here. Just this space and this space, along with this single space, gets filled in with nether brick. And don't worry, I'm going to do this right now. Not time lapsing it, only the large parts get time lapsed, so you can see where I'm doing, where I'm uh, filling it in. So just three spaces. That space there got. Uh, got a free pass. That stays empty. So it should look exactly like this. Now you're going to switch to the red wool, and with the red wool, we're going to fill in two empty spaces with red wool. Actually, we're going to fill in three empty spaces, so I'm going to time lapse this. Now pay close attention to the empty spaces that you need to fill in. Let's see. No, it's actually four. Okay, I'm looking down there. It's four. Total of four empty spaces. Now I need you to pay close attention. So the four empty spaces that you're going to fill in are as followed. You're going to fill in this single large space here that goes up. That's one. You're going to fill in, you know, this space. And then you're going to fill in this space here. So that's two. Then you're going to fill in this single space here that goes all the way down. That's three. And then you're going to fill in this single space here with red wool, and that's four. So you're going to fill in this space here, and then going up here, that's this space, that, which is the second space, and then you're going to fill in that space and that space with red wool. So go ahead and do that now while I time lapse this. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now we're going to switch to the nether brick, and with the nether brick we're going to fly up here until you find this empty space. Now this empty space has a path. This small empty space follows the path that goes up to the left, as you can see. It's just staying within the black wool outline. Now we're going to fill in this empty path that goes up to the left with nether brick. I'm not going to time lapse this again because it should be easy to understand. All we're doing is filling in this empty path that's going up to the left with nether brick, staying obviously within the black wool outline. So it looks exactly like this. Now let's go, let's see, let us move down here so we can go ahead and fill in this area real quick. Da, da, da. And for this area, we're going to need the, let's see, gold block along with the pumpkin block. So let's go ahead and switch to those blocks now. The gold block and the pumpkin. Starting off with the gold block, let's move down here. And as you can see, there's an empty gap here, this empty space. And starting underneath this black wall, you're going to place one gold block. So place one there. Now let's move up here. And starting underneath these two black walls, so starting underneath it, you're going to place four gold blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now let's go back up to these two black walls that has an empty space. And you're going to fill in that empty space with a gold block. So that's one. And it should look like this so far. Now you're going to start on top of this black wall. So starting on top of that black wall you're going to place a total of five sets of twos going up on the left side. Five sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. That's five sets of twos going up on the left. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to catch up or to compare. Now you're going to place three blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. And also fill in this empty space here with a gold block. Now let's go back up. And now place five blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place eight blocks going up on the 
left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it should look exactly like this so far. So now we're going to move down here, back over here, and we're going to switch to the pink, not the pink wool, I'm sorry, the pumpkin block. Switching to the pumpkin block, you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with pumpkin. Now, of course, remember to uh, place them at an angle at the side, because we do not want to see the face, we just want the side of the pumpkin. So it looks like this. Now we're going to move to this area, and we're going to fly all the way up to the left corner of this single large space, and you should arrive at this one empty space by itself. Go ahead and fill in that empty space with pumpkin. I'll fly back a bit so you can see where we place that pumpkin. So it looks like this. Now what you're going to do is going to be, well for me, a large time lapse. Now you're going to fill in three empty spaces, two of them being pumpkin. Now pay close attention. This single large space here gets filled in with pumpkin. And then moving over here to the right. This single large space here on the right side of the gold blocks, this single space here gets filled in with pumpkin. Then you're going to switch to the gold block and fill in this single large area here with gold. So just to recap, this space gets filled in with pumpkin, this space here gets filled in with pumpkin, and then you're going to switch to the gold, and then fill in this space here with gold. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So I'm going to be instructing you a lot faster now, and the only reason for that is because I the video is already longer than I wanted it to be, and at the same time, would you rather me go faster or have you wait another entire week for the next part to come out? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that a lot of you would rather have me instruct you a little bit faster so I don't have to stop the video now just to instruct you a lot slower and have you wait an entire week for the next and final part. So, instead of making you wait an entire week, I will start instructing you a little faster for this part, so we can finish it. So this will be the final part. That being said, I gave you a full disclaimer, so be sure to pause the video when and if I'm going too fast for you, and I will be going fast now. So we're going to move up here to the top left corner of the pixel art, not all the way up there, but here where we had the nether bricks going... Uh, Going up, we actually filled in this path, so we're going to find this empty space above it, and we're going to start on top of this black wall. You're going to place, with the pink wall, three blocks going up. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to move to the bottom block of the three blocks. Now remember, don't complain that it's going fast, I just gave you a full disclaimer on that uh, I will be going a lot faster now, just so I don't have to pause the video and continue an entire week later. So... From, so, again, be sure to pause the video if I'm going too fast. So from that one block, place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. Now we're going to move up here. And now from the top block of the three blocks, place four blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two, three, four. Now place two blocks going up on the right side. One, two... And now you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with pink wool. So do that now. So it looks like this. And now we're going to time lapse because what you're going to do next is fill in this single large space here that goes all the way down. Staying within the black wool outline, you're going to fill in this single space here with red wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now we're going to switch to the pumpkin, and we're going to move a little to the right, and you're going to fill in this single space here, all the um, or the single space that's above this row of gold blocks that we placed here uh, a while ago. I'm not sure in what part that was, but you're going to fill in this single space here, staying within the black wool and the gold block outline. Fill this in with pumpkin, so do that now. 
And when you're done filling it in with the pumpkin block, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch back over to the pink wall, and we're going to move up to this empty section of the pixel art, all the way to the top left corner, and we're going to start down here, in between the two blocks going up and the two blocks going diagonal, we're going to start right here on top of this black wall. Now with the pink wall, starting from there, with uh, the pink wall, you're going to place two sets of twos going up on the left side. Two sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. Now place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now two blocks going diagonal up to the right. One, two. Now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now one block going diagonal up to the right. One. Now you're going to place four sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. Four sets of twos across. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. Four. Get rid of the placement blocks, and it should be making contact with this one block here. Now you're going to place four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And one block going diagonal down to the right. And that's one. Now, again, just to tell you, or just to make sure you understand, I was not joking about going fast, and I was serious about you using the pause button. So if I'm going too fast for you, which I'm sure I am going too fast for some of you, make sure to pause the video, because I'm going to go a little fast. Well, yeah, well, a little faster, because there doesn't seem to be a lot left. So we're almost done. Don't worry. Hang in there. So it should look exactly like this so far. So we're going to switch to the red wool, and with the red wool, we're going to fill in this single space here, staying within the pink wool and the black wool outline. You're going to fill in this space here with red wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now let's switch back to the pink wool, and with the pink wool, we're going to fill in three empty spaces, three small empty spaces. First, we're going to fill in those three empty spaces down there. And then fill those three empty spaces up there. So it's the empty spaces between the black wool and the pink wool. So let's fill in those three down here. And those three up here. That's one, two, three. So it looks like this. Now let's go to this one black wool up here. So from this one black wool, starting on the right side of it, you're going to place two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. And place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now place eight blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it should be making contact with that one black wall. So it looks like this. Now let's move down. Now below the pink wool that we just placed in this single area, we're going to move to the bottom of this single space here and start down here at the bottom left corner of this space and place one pink wool on top of uh, this L-shaped looking block. So we're going to place one pink wool on top of this black wool. So it looks like this. And then place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then four blocks going across upper level to the right. One, two, three, four. And then three blocks going across upper level to the right. One, two, three. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch to the nether rack. And with the nether rack, we're going to fill in the empty spaces here that are below the black wool. You're going to fill in 
these three empty spaces with netherrack. So do that now. So let's fill those in. And it should look like this. Now let's go over here to the right. And you're going to fill in this empty space here with netherrack. So do that. So it looks like that. Now with the netherrack, you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here that are below this netherrack. So essentially, you're going to follow the path. You're going to follow the path down here, so you're going to fill in these two spaces, just this space and this space with netherrack. So do that now. So it looks like this. Now let's go back up to these netherracks, and now you're going to follow the path that goes up to the left. So you're going to follow this path and fill in these empty spaces here that are going up to the left. Fill those in with netherrack. Do that now. And once you fill them in, it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now we're going to switch to the spruce wood planks. So switching to the spruce wood planks, as you can see, there's another empty path here on the right side of the path that we just filled in with another wreck. You're going to fill in this empty path here that goes up to the left as well. You're going to fill that in with the spruce wood planks. So do that now. Let's fill them in. And once you've filled those empty spaces with the spruce wood planks, it should look like this. So now let's move over here to this empty space, this large empty space that's on the left side of these nether bricks, or nether racks, not nether bricks, but nether racks. Switching to the nether rack, starting at the bottom right corner of this empty space, which is down here, the bottom right corner, starting from there, all you're going to do is hug the outline going all the way up to the six blocks here going across. So just hug the outline with nether rack. So let's just hug the outline going all the way up. And these two so it should stop there below the right block of the six block walls going across so it should look exactly like this so far now we're going to switch to the placement block and go to the bottom left corner of this space so going to the bottom left corner starting with the placement block starting there place two blocks going across to the right so that's one two Switch to the pink wall, and starting on top of this placement block, place one pink wall there on top of it. Now get rid of those placement blocks, and it should look like this. Now starting from that pink wall, you're going to place two sets of fours going up on the left side. Two sets of fours. So that's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. Get rid of those, and it should look like this. Now place five blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Now one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now we're going to switch to the red wool, and with the red wool, we're going to fill in two empty spaces. You're going to fill in this single large space here with red wool, and then you're going to move up here and fill in this single large area here with red wool. So go ahead and fill in those two empty spaces with red wool. Do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch back over to the pink wall, and we're going to move to the top left corner of the pixel, or, or top right corner, the top right corner, going up here. And we're going to find these 10 black walls going across, so find these 10 black walls going across, that is close to the top right corner of the pixel art. So we're going to switch to the placement block and put a placement block there. Fly back so you can see that it should look like this so far. Now you're going to switch to the pink wool, and starting on the right side of that placement block, place two pink wools going up. So that's one, two. Then go ahead and get rid of that placement block, so it should look like this. Now place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now two blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two. 
Now three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. Now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to place four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. Four sets of twos. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. And one, two, four. That's four sets of twos. Let's get rid of those placements. Now you're going to switch to the nether brick. Switching to the nether brick. Starting underneath the left block of the two, the last set, the last set of the two pink wheels going across, starting underneath the left block. So starting from there, place two nether bricks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. So it looks like this. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now what you're going to do is go down here. Following this empty path, you're going to fill in that one empty space by itself with nether brick. So do that. And then you're going to fill in this single space here with nether brick. So go ahead and do that now. Fill in this empty space with the nether brick. So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch to the nether rack. So switching to the nether rack... Let's see. All right. Now that we have the nether rack, switching to the nether rack, we're going to find the second set of the four sets of two. So this is the first set, the second set, the third set, and the fourth set because that this was the four sets of twos. So find the second set of twos, starting underneath the left block. Place one nether rack, and then you're going to place two sets of twos going down on the right side. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two, and it should be making contact with this black wall like this. So let's get rid of the placement blocks, and it should look like this. Now you're going to fill in two empty spaces. First, you're going to fill in this single empty space with nether rack, so do that now. And then you're going to fill in this single space here with nether rack, so do that now. So it should look like this. Now, again, don't forget to pause the video if it's going too fast for you. I already mentioned and warned you several times that I was going to go fast, just so you won't have to wait another long week for the final part. So, now with the red wool, you're going to fill in this empty space here with red wool. So go ahead and do that now. I don't think I have to time-lapse this part. It's not that much of a large area than the other parts. So just fill in this empty space with red wool, staying within the pink wool outline, obviously. And once you've done that, it should look exactly like this so far. So now what you're going to do, switch to the pink wool, and you're going to fill in the small empty spaces that you see right there, and the other small empty spaces that you see up here as well, and then this single large area here with pink wool. So essentially, you're just going to fill in just the upper part, all those small empty spaces there and there, and that single spark, or spark, that single space, you're going to fill in all of those spaces up here, with pink wool. You don't fill anything down there. So just go ahead and fill those empty spaces with pink wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over to the gold block. Now with the gold block, we're going to move to this large area here. And we're going to move above the left eye, you could say, of Iron Man. So going up here above this area, I want you to find the five blocks going across, the five black wools going across here. And they're the only five black wools, so don't get confused with the four blocks. As you can see, there's only one set of five blocks going across, and it's obviously making contact with the 18 black wools going across. So find these five black wools going across. We're going to start on top of the left block of the five blocks. So starting from there, with the gold block, place two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, so it looks like this. Now starting from the left block of the two blocks going across, so starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. 
and it should look like this. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. Now you're going to place four sets of threes going up on the left side. Four sets of threes. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. That's four sets of threes. Let's get rid of those. Now place four blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four. Now place five blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Now place nine blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now place two blocks going up on the right side. On the right side, two blocks up. One, two. So it looks like this. Now place four blocks going diagonal up to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So, that's one, two, three. Now one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And now fill in this empty space here with gold block. So it looks like this. Now from this one block, you're going to place two sets of twos going down on the right side. So that's one, two, one, one, two, oops, that's one, two, two. So it should look like this. Now place three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. As you can see, it's matching up perfectly so far. So it should look like this. Now place three sets of fours. It's actually going to be four sets. That's four sets, not three. But four sets of fours going down on the right side. Four sets of fours. So that's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four, four. So that's four sets of fours going down on the right. And as you can see, there should be two two of the blocks not making contact with black wools, so it should look like this. Now starting underneath the black wool that's next to these gold blocks, so starting from there, underneath that black wool, place nine blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks going down, and it should look like this so far. Now remember to pause the video, okay? So now we're going to switch to the placement block, and we're also going to be using the brown wool next, so make sure to switch to the brown wool. So switching to the placement block first, we're going to move up here to the top left, no, top right, going to the top right corner of the pixel art, going back to these 10 black wools up here, starting underneath the right uh, black wool, the right block of the 10 blocks going across. So starting from there with the placement block, place two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. So it looks like this. Don't worry, we are almost done with the pixel art. We are so close. So now that we have the two placement blocks, we're going to switch to the brown wool and place one brown wool on the left side. So that's one. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the placement block. So it looks like this. Now you're going to place two brown wools going down on the right side. So that's one, two. Now two sets of threes going down on the right. Two sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. So that's two sets of threes. So it looks like this. Now place two sets of fives going down on the right side. Two sets of fives. So that's one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. That's two sets of fives. Get rid of those. 
And now what you're going to do is place 26 blocks going down on the right side. 26 blocks going down on the right. Now you don't have to count if you don't want to, but let's see. But it is supposed to make contact with the right block of these three black wolves going across. So you just make them go straight down on the right side. So it looks like this, and it should be making contact with the top block of the right block of these three black wolves going across. So let's fly up here and get rid of that placement block. And let's fly back, and it should look exactly like this so far. So now comes for the final step, and that involves in this order, just so you don't get confused. I, what I want you to do is put these blocks in this order in your inventory. You're going to first put the gold block then next to it, on the right side, the pumpkin block, and then on the right side of the pumpkin block, the spruce wood planks, and then on the right side of the spruce wood planks, the brown wool. Now, this is so you don't get confused, because this is going to be the order we place the blocks. Fill them in. So, starting off first with the gold block, we're going to fill in this single space here, going all the way up with gold block. Then switch to the pumpkin, and then this single large area here, not crossing any outlines gets filled in with pumpkin, then switch to the spruce wood planks going into the next area. You're going to fill in this area here with spruce wood planks, and then switch over to the brown wool, and then fill in this single space here with brown wool. So there's four empty spaces. First one gets filled in with gold. Next one here gets filled in with pumpkin. Next one, spruce wood planks, and next one, brown wool. So I will talk to you right after this quick time lapse and while you're filling this in. So go ahead and fill in those four empty spaces with these four blocks. And when you have finished filling it all in, it should look like this. And now you have completed my Iron Man Minecraft pixel art tutorial. And be sure to share it, especially with me. Go ahead and tweet it, share it with me on Facebook or Instagram. Make sure you tag me. I want to see all of those awesome people that manage to actually finish this tutorial in all nine parts. Obviously, this is probably most likely going to be the longest part. But that was only because I had to, uh, well, I wanted to actually finish it in this part. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be an extremely long video, which you understand. So make sure you share this with me. Either like what on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, even Facebook. Make sure you like the Facebook fan page because that's where I post all the new pixel arts that you might miss because I also live stream all of my pixel arts. The first time I made this, it took me about eight, eight and a half hours during a live stream where I was interacting with the audience there, seeing me make it for the first time, which I believe was about two months ago. It was a long time ago. Well, that does it for this Minecraft pixel art tutorial. Be sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.